Hello everybody, welcome back to Tunes Reviews. Today, we're gonna to be discussing my five signature fragrances and the reasoning behind why they are my signature scents. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the notification bell because we are gonna be pushing content like it is our job. So if you wanna keep up with what it is that we're pushing out on a regular basis, go ahead and click the notification bell so you can keep up. Let's dive into it. Let's talk about five fragrances that I absolutely adore and consider to be my signature scents as of the last year or so. And actually some of these have been what I would deem as signature scents probably for the last almost three, four plus years. It just depends on when I picked them up and how often I wear them, how often I gravitate toward them, how often I consider seasonal based fragrances, et cetera, et cetera. That's kind of how I gauge what a signature scent is, how often I go through a bottle, how frequently I wear it. So it's pretty basic, pretty, pretty cut and dry. And uh, yeah, I think that these five are primarily the ones that I would consider to be what are my signature scents, the ones that I wear the most and have gone through the most bottles in the last year or so. So coming up at number five, is Musk Ravageur by Frederick Moll. As we all know, I've talked about this quite a bit in the last year or so. Uh, it's something that I revisited after, I guess probably, ooh, three or four years of not owning it. Um, I kind of rejected its reformulation and I was convinced by several people to check it out and uh, give the reformulation a chance. And I'm really glad I did. This is just a wonderful clove uh, vanilla, somewhat animalic musk with some cinnamon and it's really, really sexy, incredible. It's warm. Um, I really gravitate the more warm, um, almost fall and winter type fragrances and this is no exception. This is definitely something that I rock all year round because I do actually prefer this in the hot, humid heat of the summer. So. Interestingly enough, that's how I've always loved this fragrance and preferred it, uh, even back in the day when it was a little bit more potent and a little bit more uh, animalic. But nonetheless, this is a fragrance that I consider to be a signature scent. This is something that all my friends and my loved ones, my family members, um, definitely recognize as something that I wear often and would deem themselves as a scent that is Tim. So five, Musk Ravageur. Number four is a newer, acquisition for me as of the last year. And this is one that I had discovered when I had ordered a sample pack to go on a fun little journey with my fiance. Um, I don't typically love to bring a lot of bottles with me when I travel. I'll, if anything, bring one. And typically it's one that's like a little less expensive because I don't like to carry around something that's like three or $400 or more, um, just on the off chance that it could get broken. But I'll pick up decants or samples or uh, bring a cheaper bottle with me. And this was a decant that I had discovered when my fiance Catherine and I had gone to uh, Cleveland, Ohio on an impromptu trip last September. And this was one of three or four that I had brought with me. So this is Chris Collins' Dan Sauvage. This is, like I said, I brought this on a uh, fun impromptu trip with Catherine and myself and we went to go uh, to Cleveland to just kind of get out and go experience some fun stuff like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and get some good food and have a couple beers and just be away for a weekend. This really heavily reminds me of a favorite fragrance of mine from Killian called Straight to Heaven, although this isn't quite as boozy and does not possess the patchouli note that Straight to Heaven has, but it's peppery, it's cedar, it's got a really beautiful, almost rum accord in it. I'm not sure if rum is actually a note that's listed, but there is a boozy element that does remind me of a rum accord with those vanilla facets in there. And this to me is just gonna be a fragrance that I'm gonna have to own for forever and a day. Um, this actually lasts and projects better than Straight to Heaven does. So if Straight to Heaven is a fragrance that you've had difficulty with, um, lasting on you or projecting well. Definitely give Chris Collins' Dance Sauvage a check. This is one of my most favorite fragrances I've tried in the last while. And as you can see here, um, I've gone through 50% of this bottle and I've only owned this since about January, February. Um, so I definitely have used a good chunk of this and use it very often. I absolutely love this stuff. So 
if you're looking for a, uh, like I said, a peppery, almost incense vibe with that cedar wood and rum accord with some vanilla and some other spices, give this a check. It is very similar to Straight to Heaven. Love this stuff so much. Coming in at number three is Naso Mato Baronda. And this is my favorite fragrance from Naso Mato. I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but my lists consist of quite a few of the same faces. So if nothing else, I am consistent. But Naso Mato Baronda is a fragrance that really resonated with me right off the bat. When I first tried this, I probably wore the little Lucky Scent sample for like a day or two and then immediately purchased it. Um, this is whiskey and oak barrel and some spices. And this is just such a nostalgic fra fragrance for me that really reminds me of meeting my people in college, meeting some of the, the greatest friends that I've ever had in my life and you know, continue to have these wonderful friends that we do these wonderful things with, with film and uh, just all the fun, happy horse shit that we do. <laughs> but Baronda is a fragrance that really is something that I had looked for for a long time. It's wonderful in its boozy whiskey quality. I've been looking for a really, really uh, decent whiskey accord that I really couldn't find. Pure malt was a little too synthetic for me. I grew out of it, but this is like top notch whiskey and I absolutely adore it. I love the presentation with the cork and I love that this fragrance is in my wardrobe and I've considered it to be a signature scent for quite some time now. I'm saying probably four years and this is the uh, third bottle that I'm on and I'm obviously gonna have to pick up another one pretty soon here. So Baronda, full of memories, full of nostalgia and it's gonna be something that I'm gonna to continue to love and wear for years to come. Coming in at number two is Nishane Ani. This is my favorite Nishane fragrance. If you haven't checked it out already, go and check out my three favorite Nishane fragrances. Obviously I gave away number one, but there's two others on there that I absolutely adore that come very close to this. This inadvertently became a signature scent of mine. I wasn't necessarily blown away by it when I first tried it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really scrumptious. Um, it got the job done. It was a really great vanilla fragrance. But as time went on, I wore it more and more. People love this stuff. They compliment it all the time. This is definitely one that people will ask me what I'm wearing and write it down, and they do end up wanting to pick up a bottle. I don't know how many people have actually bought one, but who knows? This is just one of my most complimented fragrances that I really, really do enjoy, and it is something that really reminds me of the fall and winter, and it reminds me of kind of this nice warm blanket that you wear and it's very sensual. So Nishane Ani, I've had some really great memories with. Um, me and a bunch of my buddies went up to uh, the Adirondacks to Lake Placid and rented a yurt for a weekend. And this was the only fragrance that I brought with me. So um, cuts through the cold like nobody's business and it just smells very, very pleasant. So this is number two. I've been wearing this so much as of the last eight months or so. And I love this stuff. It will forever be in my collection, Nishane Ani. And coming in at number one for my most beloved, uh, most worn, the one that makes me feel the most at home as of the last year. This is now my third bottle of Guerlain's Angelique Noir. And this is just sensual. It reminds me of my metamorphosis into manhood. Um, I was wearing this quite a bit a few years ago. I think I first picked up a decan of this when I was about 27 or so, uh, maybe 26 and I'm 30 now. And this was my first real like floral gourmand. It was my first uh, more feminine leading fragrance that I felt comfortable with wearing. And now I don't think that scent has a gender whatsoever. So you shouldn't either. Just find something that you love and wear it no matter what. And this is just coziness. It reminds me of feeling comfortable with who I am as a person and uh, progressing into um, other positive aspects of life because this was really again a pivotal moment in my time where I was kind of transitioning into accepting the things that I really wanted to accomplish in my life and whether people supported me or not I had to accept that that was going to be my reality and uh, I haven't looked back since so Angelique Noir has been a part of that journey and has made me feel comfort so that is my number one signature scent as of right now 
I'm sure that some of you out there are thinking like, well, where's Reflection Man, or where's Baccarat Rouge 540, or where's Royal Oud by Creed? Yeah, those are all up there too, but these are just like the five that I wear the most often, that I've gone through the most bottles of as of the last year or so. If I was to do a top 10 or a top 20 throughout my entire uh, existence in reviewing, I would definitely have those fragrances on that list. But for now, Angelique Noir is uh, my number one. It is my favorite fragrance to wear right now. And yeah, it's just a beauty and I hope you check it out if you haven't. All right, everyone. Well, it's been great talking to you all and I will see you all in the next video coming up soon. So please, again, check that notification bell and get my content as it comes out. This has been my top five signature scents as of the last year. I hope you're all doing well and healthy and safe and I will talk to you soon.